Well, it was certainly a wet weekend. However, things are fizzling out. Really wonderful temps today, so I really cannot complain about this, Derek. <laughs> Not too cool for you? Not, not too cool. Not too cool. Just right. Seriously, we could turn Literally them down a little bit. If right. so, I got the button right over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, no kidding. Right? That's right, Rick. But uh, you know what? You're going to really enjoy this week's weather because it's going to be, uh, you know, fall like at night and during the morning hours. But then during the afternoon, we're going to be around 80 degrees. So it's actually going to be a pretty nice week. The weekend, though, eh, not looking so good. Uh, at least we got one nice day in last weekend. Looks like this weekend, both days are going to be kind of messy. We'll try to explain it to you here in just a second. Here's visible satellite here. Throughout the morning and afternoon, you see how the clouds that we dealt with earlier today now starting to filter out. So we're looking at partly cloudy to mostly clear skies across the region. That's where we stand right now out of BWI Marshall. 78 degrees, dew point of 53, winds out of the northwest, 12, gusting up to 18. So it's been a little bit of a breeze here throughout the afternoon as temperatures ranging anywhere from 72 for Elkton, 79 Westminster. 50s, though, you get out in far western Maryland into the mountains with that northwest wind, as I mentioned, statewide at about 10 to 15. Miles per hour. Again, temperatures tonight dropping into the 50s for most of us under a mostly clear sky. And then looks like we'll see temperatures tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s, around 80 degrees for most locations under a mostly sunny sky. Again, as that drier air starts to filter in, in the wake of that system that brought us some rain here yesterday, here's a look at your future cast. Not much to talk about weather wise, at least through tomorrow, through Wednesday into Thursday. It looks like we stay dry. So temperatures will stay right around 80 degrees for highs with a partly cloudy sky. Sky to mostly sunny sky each afternoon. Then things start getting a little interesting here for the weekend. The front that just came through, the tail end of it, an area of low pressure may try to develop just off the Carolina, Georgia, Florida coast here later this week. Hurricane Center has a 30% chance of development here over the next uh, five to seven days or so. And this system is going to drift northward now. Here's the scenario. We're going to have high pressure to the north, and then this area of low pressure coming up from the south. The pressure difference in between the two is going to increase the easterly winds later this week, particularly on Friday and into Saturday. So with an easterly wind and moisture spreading northward, there is a chance that we could end up with a breezy and very wet weekend, particularly on Saturday through the first part of Sunday. Now, the details are still a bit sketchy because some of the long range models are not agreeing with the amount of moisture that's going to be spreading into our area. But it does look like, though, the weekend is going to be wet, at least at this point, turning breezy. And we'll have to watch for a coastal flood threat, too, especially if we get a sustained easterly wind here over the next uh, uh, couple of days as we get in towards the weekend. So it looks like beginning Friday, and that would last through perhaps Sunday. Here's a look at your rain chances for the next six days. Looks like it's going to be wet. As we go through the end of the week, uh, into the weekend, it looks like that's going to be the area, that's really the time frame that we're going to be dealing with the most inclement weather. But again, it looks like as we go throughout the day tomorrow, sunny skies and temperatures are going to be reaching the upper 70s throughout 80 degrees. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. We'll keep an eye on that weekend forecast, but it looks breezy and wet here for Saturday and Sunday with the first day of fall coming up on Saturday. But plenty of sunshine for the rest of the week, so suck up the sunshine while you can because this weekend, not looking as nice.